It's very clever how, how Corrie have done this, because this has been kind of drip-fed, hasn't it? And it's only now, and I'm a great Corrie fan, as you know, that I'm going, oh, yes, yeah. when he was doing that and when he was doing that. So how long have you known that this storyline was coming? So I got told probably six months ago, I'd say six months ago, and then the, it, it was started from the day of Bethany's trial. So something he saw there, something that happened there, was the catalyst for starting this off. So you're not born with it necessarily. No, not right. born with it. So it's it started mm -hmm. from um, started from something. And is that when he forgot the time something the had time happened? Yeah. So that's then lodged in his mind as something he failed at. Yeah. So what? It, so it started with an obsession around time. So the starting point was he was drawing 24-hour clocks. We saw him drawing 24-hour clocks and practicing that. And then it developed around an obsession with even numbers. Everything was done with even numbers. Then the time he was leaving the house, now it's gone into these rituals. So it's slowly grown. You said six months ago you knew this storyline was coming. How much did you know about OCD? How much have you had to inform yourself? Which is obviously where Craig comes in, which we'll talk to Craig in depth at the moment. But did you know Richard. much about the condition? Um, not loads, not really, not at all. Um, so when it, when it came across, obviously I was excited and it was something I wanted to do, but. I knew it'd have to be something that I'd be told more about. Um, so that's why, that's why I think we met with Richard, had the research chat, and it kind of went from there mm. because I, my knowledge was quite slim. Like, I knew most, like most people's, Richard, I would think. Yeah. Like most people's knowledge. I knew the stereotypes, probably, yeah. which yeah. wasn't the so right thing. your no. particular OCD is what, Richard? Uh, so it would come across as contamination-based because most people think that OCD is the behaviour that people see, it's what people do, it's the ritual or it's the obsession. But OCD really is just the thoughts that create the behaviours and the feelings. So contaminate, so when I walked across studio and shook hands with you over there, was that a bad thing? Should I not have done so that? So at a time in my life, yeah. that would have put me in a real state of right. anxiety and panic and I would have got hand gel out and gel my hands or asked to go and wash my hands. But so through... when did all this start happening to you? When did you notice? So how, was, how old are you now? So I'm 25 now. I was diagnosed at 15. Um, but I've had it for most of my life, just not knowing what it was. And that's the thing. I don't think many people realise that OCD takes so many different forms. Mm. Um, and for me, it sort of came to a head at school where I became worried about touching door handles, walking to and from classes, taking school books home. And, and the way Coulson talked about the, the character, Craig's character, mm. and the trigger, the trigger for something, yeah. have you been able to identify what was the trigger for you? Uh, so, through years of counselling and therapy, I'm still working through it, but I'm kind of at a point where I'm roughly aware of some of the things that led me to develop some of the thoughts that I have. And therefore it's reversible because of that. If you understand, you can change. Yeah, yeah. I think the big thing for me was acceptance. Just yes. accepting things that happen right. in your life and, and not berating yourself for it. And so much guilt and shame right. is there with OCD. So, so, in terms of achievement, what is it like watching him on television going through a story that is, that is not your story, but it's inspired by you and how you've briefed him? It, it is fantastic because this is, you know, a major show that's going to help so many people. And the way that Coronation Street have handled it and, and Colson himself, it's, been, it's been amazing. I think we can all, um, Richard, sometimes be a bit flippant about OCD. And I, yeah. I would hold my hands up to this myself. Yeah. You know, if I'm being slightly neat about something, I go, yeah. oh, it's my OCD. Right. How, how much does that annoy you when people yeah. use that expression? <laughs> it's... It's infuriating, but it happens so often, and it isn't necessarily done maliciously at all. I think it is just lack of education and information. But but is there not a spectrum? Of and, course, and, yeah. I mean, there's um, absolute doubt in my mind that Ruth has got a form yeah. somewhere that demonstrates itself in, in various ways. I think it's just the way it's phrased. Mm. So instead of saying, I'm a bit OCD, I think people could say, I'm, I'm so particular, or I'm a bit mm -hmm. of a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. Because if you say it, oh, I'm a bit obsessive-compulsive disorder, it makes no sense. So you but can't be a you, bit, you've got to be we, fully. You're either, you can't have a bit of cancer, you can't have a bit of heart disease, a bit of PTSD, you either have a diagnosis or you don't. 
and I think that's the distinction. Mm. What are you hoping, through, through Colson's amazing acting, of course, <laughs> and the writing... But you don't get me. You're an amazing actor, but you're only a child. <laughs> <laughs> it gets me. Baby. Get, I always, I always amazed, I, I've known you for so long and I expect to come in and think you're 27 or 28, but you're still... How old are you? 19. 19 is incredible. The, the maturity that you have and the skills that you have for one so young. And amazing amazing. For you to get a storyline like this mm. yeah definitely so intense yeah, thank you to obviously Corey and Kate for giving me the chance but yeah and yeah. I, presu I presume something like the kind of rejection from Bethany or wanting to keep Bethany safe is yes. all part of you said it's the thoughts that come into someone's mind yeah well that was one of the big things when we had our research day was actually giving some context for why yeah like Craig would develop these behaviors because yeah. if obviously television's a visual medium so you need yeah. to see things mm. But I think the thing that we'd like people to get with OCD is it's, it, it's like an iceberg. The tip of it is what you see, but the illness, the diagnosis, the mental illness is underneath. Well, it's okay. great to see you so positive about it, Richard, and yeah. so, so enthusiastic about what Coronation Street are, are doing and how Coulson's portraying all of this. Guys, both of you, thank you for thank doing you. what you're doing. Thank, thank you very, you. Very, thank you very much indeed. Much.